summer season is coming upon us and people are planning to travel. I want to give you my opinion, which I think would be two cards to have on a trip, or if you're planning on making that trip, from the two biggest issuers, from Chase and American Express. So again, that's going to be a short video. I have other videos where I put it in detail, diving into them, but this is which card you should take with you from Chase and American Express. So let's dive into it. So if you're planning on this trip, besides packing all the things essential for you, for the kids, for your family, you need to see which way are you going to pay for this trip? What cards should you use? You know, a lot of places aren't taking cash or, and, and to carry cash. If you lose it, you lost it. There are no protections. So some of the biggest expenses you get on these trips are airlines, car rentals, and then food and then the other things that you're going to purchase along the way. So you need to make sure you take at least two cards that are going to cover you for all these expenses or as many as possible. So here's the thing. If you're a Chase loyalist, to me, the best two card setup would include the Chase Freedom Flex with either the Chase Sapphire Preferred or Reserve. Now, you do the preferred, the annual fee is $95. If you do the reserve, you're looking at $550. That, that's a, a hard pill to swallow. I get it. So if we want to stick to, let's say, the preferred route, you have the Freedom Flex and the preferred. Now, why those two? The Flex literally gives you more flexibility. It gives you the opportunity to purchase many things at 3%. So you're going to get 3% cash back on dining, including takeout, 3% cash back on drugstores, Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, and so on, and 1% on everything else. In addition, there are quarterly categories that they might offer you boosts. Like the last quarter, they had uh, a boost at Target and Walmart. So if you're on vacation and you stop at one of those stores or even buying things to prepare for your trip, this would be a great place because then they offer you 5% cash back during those quarters. So that's why this is a good catch-all card to have with you on a trip because you want to make sure that you're getting the best bang for your buck when you're spending so much money on a vacation. Um, it also comes with additional perks for if you pull it with the Chase Sapphire Preferred to use the Chase uh, Ultimate Rewards Portal where or transfer them out to partners where you can get upgrades for hotels for airfare um, to get primary coverage for um, cars for baggage protections and so on so if you are a fan of the chase ecosystem i would say the freedom flex and the chase sapphire preferred or reserve if you're willing to pay that 550. but again the flex is the powerhouse but then you're going to use the benefits of the preferred, which will give you more points and the ability to use it in their portal. Now, on the American Express side, I would use, and there's no drum roll needed because we know where I'm going to say, the American Express Gold and the American Express Platinum. The Gold, pretty simple. Four times back on any dining purchases, four times back on supermarket purchases, you can't beat that, okay? That's the greatest card to have on you when you're traveling. If you're going to Disney, any places like that, there's a ton of places to eat. Four times back return on every dollar spent at restaurants and at um, and any kinds of grocery shopping that you might do. And in the, so and also, if you use a gold card, and you could use the three times it's going to give you back on travel purchases directly through the airlines, which is huge. Not many, cards give, not many cards give you that many of a point multiplier on what we would consider a mid-tier card, okay? Now, when you match it with the Platinum card, here's why this is a wonderful duo. You get automatic gold status at the Marriott Hotels and at the Hilton Hotels, okay? So gold status going in, which gives you a later checkout, free premium internet sometimes they'll give you the better room in the same level 
but they'll give you the, the higher level room for those. So I'm not saying they're going to upgrade you to a suite, but at least you'll have other upgrades there. Plus, they give you great perks in renting cars. You can get the Hertz presidential um, status. You're going to get Avis preferred and for national, the Emerald Club, which means you pay for a mid-tier car and then you can pick any card that they have assigned in these aisles and you just literally go into the card, into the car you want, pick it, and then they'll scan you on the way out. So you could pay for a lower car and you'll come out with a nicer ride for you to enjoy on your trip. So this comes by having that platinum card. So if you think about it, between the, the upgrades at the hotel, the upgrades at the car rental, and then remember American Express then gives you five times back on flights and a $200 flight credit on the airline of your choice, you're lowering your effective cost for those flights and you're getting bonus um, points in return. So in, I've reviewed all four of these cards in my other videos and I've gone into deeper dives into each one and the perks that each one brings. But if you're Team Chase, again, the Freedom Flex, the Sapphire Preferred, because like I said, the reserve is 550 and on the Amex side, although the Platinum is 695 a year and that hurts and then the Gold is 250 a year and that doesn't make it any easier, to me, the benefits you get from those cards outweighs the annual fee. So again, if you're Team Chase, Freedom Flex, Sapphire Preferred, Team Amex, the Gold, and the Platinum, you can't go wrong. I hope you enjoy your travels while using these cards. Until next time.